Grace to you, brothers and sisters. Now, there has been a fight in the International Pentecostal Holiness Church over leadership of the church, and this is what I will be covering today. Um, I will be very brief. This won't be a long podcast. Um, about a few days ago, there has been a hostage situation in the Zirpakom. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing the word correct. Zirpakom Church in Johannesburg. Now, according to ENCA, um, five people died. This is what ENCA reported. Quote, um, more than 200 congre congregants were held hostage and later rescued by the police. Over 40 people, including police officer, soldier, and a metro police officer, have been arrested. The church has more than 3 million congregants in Southern Africa. End quote. This is what happens when people are power hungry. Um, people of the modern day have seen the church as the means to gain, as means to get wealth. This is what, and um, this has become a practice as more and more people are opening churches for that reason. Now, people are not concerned about souls. Um, the only thing they are concerned about is their bellies. Their God is their bellies. How do how do you hold hostage the people of God? Because you want power and control over them. Now, they say this fight over leadership of the church has been happening since 2016 when the leader of the church died. Um, ever since then, they have been fighting over leadership position. Now, this is said because this, this is said, but this is what happens um, when there is no fear of God and people do as they please. They do not think that there is a man whom one day they will give account. Um, our mission as Christians is to preach the word. Or have we forgotten the Great Commission? May it never be so, brothers and sisters, that we forget such a great command. Um, let me read from Matthew 28, 16 to 20. Um, but the eleven disciples proceeded to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had designated. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some were doubtful, and Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me, in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all, the command, all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now keep that in mind as you are praying for the church or for this church to unite and remember why Christ has placed his bride in this world. Um, we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. See Matthew 5, 13 to 16. This is all from my side, brothers and sisters. Now, please do check a channel called um, Crossroads Cape Town here on YouTube. Until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I will see you next time.